I want to talk to you about Alto and the benefits of putting learning, res learning resources online. Um, you probably immediately ask, well, what are the benefits of putting those resources online? And I would say the most obvious one is that you reach a bigger audience, not just a national audience, but an international audience. I mean, anybody who today works in a higher education who publishes will, day after day, receive requests for more information about a lecture they gave, a paper they wrote, and it is surprising how often paper published events and live events disappear into the ether. They're never seen again. And it's very often difficult to retrieve those things. What Alto does is captures them at the moment they are made and makes them available to all of those people who at some point in the future might come to you asking for information about your own work. I am a professor of drawing and a painter. In a normal working week, I will spend time in the studio painting pictures, time drawing, time writing lectures and delivering them. And the important thing for me is to be able to get these out to a bigger audience. Now, there was a time when I spent enormous amounts of time travelling around England, visiting art schools and delivering what was virtually the same lecture to a different group of students. Today, it's possible for me to devote much more time to real research, work in the studio, because I can get these lectures out to people without having to spend days on, on transport or even flying around the world. So for me, it's a big time saver, and it's important in me developing my reputation as an artist and as an as a, as a academic, because I can now reach that bigger audience. Without. When I was a younger lecturer, I used to really enjoy travelling around the country giving lectures. Today, my time is much more valuable to me. And I think when I got to about the age of 40, I wished I had a small company where I could send people out to lecture for me. But it doesn't work like that in academia. It has to be you. And what I've found is that by putting my research and my lectures online, I've been able to reach out to a much bigger group of students. Students who might today send me an email and say, can you tell me more about this? I refer to information that is online. It saves me writing long emails, it improves my relationship with them, and it's extremely helpful. It's extremely helpful because it enhances my importance within the creative industries and education in the world. Another side of Alto that interests me is the idea of it being our institutional memory. Just imagine if we'd had Alto when Henry Moore was teaching at Chelsea School of Art, or when Gilbert and George were students at St Martin's. Just imagine being able to see and read how they were taught, how they were teaching at that time. These would be very, very valuable documents today. I mean, you might think there's a negative side to this, which is that I'm giving this stuff away, this stuff that I've spent so much time developing and that I have ownership of. But I think you have to look at it the other way round. What you're doing is enhancing your reputation by reaching these bigger audiences. You, the more people you are able to speak to, the more power your argument has. Alto uses Creative Commons licences, and so you're leasing it, you're lending it to people. Your ownership is still firmly in place, and your authorship is firmly recognised. A very important aspect of Alto for me is its permanence. So often today that one, say, collaborates with a university overseas, um, you may be the keynote speaker in a conference, you put a lot of effort into preparing this keynote speech, it's never published because they don't publish keynote speeches, but it goes up on the web. I've noticed two or three times recently that websites or website organisers get fed up with old stuff on their front page. They move it to an archive, and then after the archive it seems to disappear completely. People are Googling you, they're looking for information, and suddenly this information is no longer available. By lodging my work with Alto, it's like putting it into the British Library or the Library of Congress. It stays there forever. And that's the commitment of the university, to maintain this as a permanent intellectual archive. Um, as both an artist and an academic, that is very important to me, because I hope people will still be interested in what I'm saying now in 50, 100, 150 years.